Welcome to Mid-South Flavor, I'm Jay. Today, we've got a little product review. We're gonna take a look at this meat grinder attachment for the KitchenAid mixer. I have never owned a meat grinder, but this company, I believe they're pronounced Kenome, they offered to send me this meat grinder attachment that works with the KitchenAid mixer. So today, we're gonna unbox this, take a look at it, and then we're gonna see how well we can grind up our own hamburger meat. All right, we've got the food pusher, cleaning brush, and here is everything else. So we'll toss this aside. Now this is a stainless steel attachment, unlike some of the cheaper plastic ones. So yeah, this one feels pretty nice. This also comes with the sausage stuffing tools, so we can make our own sausages sometime. And in this little envelope, we have the grinding plates and the grinding blades. And of course, we have our instruction manual. Upon taking all of this out of the box, everything feels to be very good quality. I like the feel of this for sure. It's got a really heavy weight to it. Now the little uh, plate up here, it is very thin and very lightweight. So yeah, it does not feel near as heavy as this other parts do. Um, even the sausage stuffing tubes feel heavier than this does. So uh, that is the only thing that feels cheap when it comes to this. However, I figure it will do the job just fine. You probably don't need anything heavy for this. This does come with three different plates for grinding. Here is the coarse one that it comes installed with it. The blades are already installed in here as well. Then we have a little bit smaller grinding plate here and then our fine grinding plate. So yeah, I'll just leave this coarse one in it to begin with, uh, then we'll try that. But before we get started testing all this out, the first thing we're gonna do is wash this, clean this, and then we'll get it installed on here and see how it works. Completely disassemble the disassemble food grinder attachment. Recommend hand wash. Not dishwasher safe. We have all of the parts all washed and cleaned up. We're not gonna be using any of the sausage stuffing attachments today. We're just gonna be focusing on the meat grinding. And so we're fixing to see how it attaches to here. This is the first time that I've done this. So yeah, we're gonna be learning together here. See how easy that it really is. First, we take this, which is called the grind worm, and install it into the body. So yeah, we just go right in here. The part sticking out is what will attach to the KitchenAid. Next, we install the blade and install it with the sharp side out. Next is the grinding plate, and as far as I can tell, it doesn't matter which side goes in or out. We're starting with the coarse, uh, with the larger holes, so we'll install that over the blade. You'll see there is a little notch here on the side. That's what the grinding plate sets into. Next, we install the locking ring. And we should be ready to mount it to the KitchenAid. First things first, we wanna make sure the KitchenAid is unplugged before we install this meat grinder. We're gonna start by lifting this mixer part and removing all of the attachments here and removing the bowl. Now we've got to open the front of the KitchenAid mixer. So unscrew this screw, pull this out, and here we go. It should fit in right here. Once it's in there, it's got a little pin here. You can tighten it back down. Now it's locked in here, it's good and tight. Now we install our food tray. And I think we're pretty much good to go. It was easy. Make sure and hang on to your cap. You don't want to lose that. So we're going to place this over here to the side. And we're just going to go ahead and use the mixing bowl that comes with this uh, that we can catch the meat into. So yeah, let's see how this works for grinding some meat. Today we have some chuck roast that I've already cut up. It's been in the freezer, so it's really cold. It's not frozen, but it is cold. Uh, from what I have read, these things will heat up the meat, so you wanna start with really cold meat. So yeah, I've cut these up into small manageable sizes, but this is just a chuck roast that I picked up from the grocery store. The KitchenAid is plugged back up, so let's see how this goes. Turn it on on the side. 
Keep your hand away from that little thing because that could hurt. Does this thing say what speed? We're going to start this on the number four setting on the KitchenAid. So here we go. My food pusher. We'll just drop this down in here. So far, so good. Okay, that's the first pass, and we have some freshly ground hamburger meat. This is very coarse right now, so we're gonna change the grinding plate and make it a little bit finer, so yeah. But overall, this looks really good. All right, the plate has been changed to the next smaller size, so we're gonna load this back up in here, see how this works. With this second pass, it looks a lot better, but it still isn't quite where we want it, so we are going to go down and put the next smallest size plate on and go for a third pass. It's definitely looking more like hamburger meat now. All right, we're ready for one more pass. All right, we are finished with this and it looks good. It's a lot finer now, so yeah, there's kind of what it looks like. So now we have our freshly ground hamburger meat. So this will make great burgers out of. We may try that later. We're not gonna do it in this video. This was just to review this uh, mixer attachment. And I'll have to say, I'm pretty impressed with it. I think it worked great. This was my first experience really with a meat grinder. I think it went well. Um, you can install it on this easily. So yeah, I think this is a win. If you're interested in one of these, the price isn't bad at all. I'll leave a link to it down in the description below this video. So now we're gonna bag up this hamburger meat so we can make something with it later. To clean this, I actually put the coarse plate back in it and I've heard that this will work to clean this out easier. We're gonna put bread in this. It can work any bread, we just so happen to have some extra hot dog buns. So we're gonna see if this will clean out the meat. Here we go. There we have it. So yeah, it cleaned out pretty much all of that meat from it, just a little bit stuck on here. But yeah, now we have some breadcrumbs and some meat mixture here. So anybody want any of this? That seemed to work. It'll make cleanup a lot easier, I believe. So there you have my review of the Kenome meat grinder attachment for the KitchenAid mixer. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And remember, on the grill or in the kitchen, here in the Mid-South, we do flavor.